I am 104th generation Brahmin. That's a lie. I come from a long line of poor stupid bullies. I work under the blazing hot sun for donkey years. Yeah, man. That's me. Doubles, doubles! Give me two with slight pepper. So, how the doubles business going, boy? Used to be better. Six dollars. Yeah? You want me to smell? Give me a hug up now, boy. I come back. And look, look what I bring for you. All the way from Toronto. Look. Come now, man. I, I, I eat nothing the whole day, boy. All right. Um, just, 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 just give me a chance. Wait, 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 no, boy. The shop will close soon. I'm finally come back from Canada. Talk now, no? The boy here, talk now. <laughs> I always like to hook instruments, right? Why are you doing this? He needs a place to stay for a few days. So? So? We use that time to get him to sign the house over to me. We have got to get him to do that. He's not going to do that. He's a scamp, yes. But we need to get the land. Get what we deserve. Hey, boy, so how business going these days, boy? Not good. Well, you don't care. Well, that was not selling, and something wrong. We used to have long lineups. Remember that, Simotra? I built this whole house of doubles money. Are you watching? Change the recipe? Because. What the hell are you doing here? We living like you're dead for years. So just go on dead now. Leave we. I'll come back to make things right. Then sign over the house to Myanmar. Okay. All right. No problem. You can't go back on your wedding, you know? No, I'm going back.
You sure? Yeah. Way too easy. You really want to know? Okay. Come with me tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. It's a big day for business. You know that. How much does it make in a day, boy? Name it. I'll double it. Triplet. Okay. Sorry, it took you so long. We going in here? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Come. Have there been any changes since your arrival? A uh, bit of pain, but I could deal with that. But uh, glad I have my son with me. What's going on here? Your father has thrombocytopenia. Okay. It's a blood disorder. Have you told him? He has HH or Bombay blow. Donors are very rare. And you're a prime candidate. Situation is critical. You're a dirty man. Applying too much pressure. You think I'm happy to see her woman struggling? You think I really expect you to help her? Because I ruined everything for you. Things just didn't turn out the way I wanted. The way you wanted? You tell me take over your stupid double stand for a few months until you send for me. If you could look beyond all that and help me. I still and... wonder what I would say to you. But now, all I want to do is look you in the eye and make sure I don't see myself. Keep that in a safe place. Sign it, we get a house. I want you to start a roti and double shop in Canada, and a three of you would have been running it, selling only to white people. Instead, end up in a basement apartment living with two other people, washing dishes in a cafeteria. Yeah, we still could have lived like a family, eh? I keep telling myself, when I have enough money, I will send for all you. I'm still saying that. Let me help you with that. Check that channel that you have. Let's see. Help me. <laughs> you never tell this boy about my secret ingredient? You always made a channel. What do you mean? Honey, look, watch. I'm telling you. Are you minding this, spoily thing? Just give it a sweet taste. Here. Check it.
Kalau biar. Sigma, you're really sick. Hold on. Hold on. You'll be all right, pa. You'll be okay. Pull yourself, pa. You'll be all right. Pull yourself. Okay, you need to sign the blood test and transfusion forms. We'll give you guys a couple of minutes, but we have to move quickly, okay? Look at me. Completely useless. Eh? So much. Uh, I want to. I want to taste with doubles. <laughs> you cannot have that now. You're going for operation. Man, please, please. Just give me a piece. Break off a little piece. Yes, that is it is. There was a little, little boy, but still you say, Pa, I want one with slight pepper. Hold on. You know, Darling, I did make the first doubles that you ever try. You teach me to make doubles. My boy, the doubles man. Again, late, you know. I think I better go home. No. I, I, I'm not leaving you here. I'm not leaving him here. I'm not I'm staying. Ma, look at the time already. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. There are plenty of things to do home. You'll eat the doubles, right? Yes, ma. Found the source of the bleeding and stopped it. So he's out of immediate danger. But he still needs a compatible donor. Your blood doesn't match. Danny, is there anyone else in the family who could be a donor?
I am 104 generation Brahmin. That's a lie. I come from a long line of poor and stupid coolies. They work on three blazing hot sun for donkey years, making Englishman rich rich. They make Charanda do the same thing. That's me. Yeah, yeah. pour soigner les animaux. Eh bien, moi, je serai astronaute pour voyager dans les étoiles. Moi, je serai gynéco pour regarder le cul des meufs. <rire> Oula, moi, je ne ferai pas appel à toi. Hein. Aïe, c'est ça, 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 c'est ça. Oh, oh, Brice et Franck au fond. On reprend. Mori. Moi, j'espère devenir actrice. Oh. Moi, je serai aussi vétérinaire. Mm -hmm. Moi, je serai chimiste. Bien. Moi, comme je m'appelle Calvin, je continue le métier de Monsieur Klein. Si tu veux. Ok. Thomas. Tom, tu es avec nous Alors, qu'est-ce que tu veux faire plus tard hum, Ce que je voudrais faire plus tard. Ben, désolée de vous le dire, Madame Alexis. Mais c'est complètement stupide, comme question. Stupide Et pourquoi stupide Ben, je ne serai jamais astronaute. Et pourquoi pas Ma mère est au chômage. Mon père nous a laissés quand j'étais petit. Dans mon quartier, on me dit tout le temps que c'est une chose d'aller à l'école, que c'est important d'apprendre ses leçons, d'être sérieux, d'avoir de bonnes notes, de ne pas s'absenter. Mais quand on a 10 ans, se réveiller tous les jours à 5 heures du matin, faire des kilomètres à pied pour prendre le bus et arriver à l'école à 8 heures, ça n'a rien d'une chance. Pour devenir astronaute, il faut s'embarquer pour un long voyage. Il faut partir faire des études. Et pour ça, il faut de l'argent, beaucoup d'argent. Et nous, on n'en a pas. Et puis, il faut aussi être bon en maths. Et moi, je ne suis pas très bon. Mais... On peut toujours rêver, n'est-ce pas Alors, Je pourrais prendre un petit job dans ce fast-food en espérant économiser assez pour me payer mon premier trimestre à l'université. Mais le temporaire s'éternise. Et le petit garçon qui voulait être astronaute se retrouve à distribuer des fusées voilà. en plastique dans les menus enfants. Merci L'argent, toujours l'argent C'est pas juste Bouge pas Lis-moi le fric T'as moi le fric Tu bouges pas toi putain sinon je t'explose Bouge pas Et tu te mènes T'as moi le fric merde Salut les mecs Ah non non pas ce soir Ça fait bref ou quoi Ça te rappelle pas 
Bon, on y va là. C'était pote. C'était pote. Alors, tout monte ou pas bon, Allez, allez, vas-y, monte. Allez, allez. Alors, un soir, je tente. Je tombe dedans. Je deal, je prépare, j'emballe, je vends, je vends et parfois je goûte. Je goûte et je prends goût. hallucinant ce que tu nous dis là et puis c'est trop triste ça tout n'est pas si compliqué et puis tu es trop jeune pour penser à ce genre de choses Tom mais comprenez moi madame Alexis je ne serai pas vétérinaire ou gynécologue pas besoin d'une blouse blanche ou qu'on m'appelle docteur pour être heureux non je ne veux pas ça je ne veux pas non plus monter une entreprise être fonctionnaire Travailler dans les assurances ou les banques. Mais on connaît déjà la chanson. Métro, boulot, dodo. Le petit train-train du citoyen moyen, persuadé qu'il sera un jour millionnaire. Mais c'est vrai Écoutez, ce que je dis, c'est vrai Continue, Thomas. Mais supposons, mes parents se saignent pour me payer des études et moi, je travaille à côté pour les aider. J'en veux, je suis brillant, épuisé, mais brillant. Je suis diplômé, je décroche un job. Non, plus qu'un job. J'ai un métier, un travail honnête, comme dirait ma mère, avec un bon salaire. Donc, j'ai un métier. Je vais gagner ma vie, j'ai une belle voiture, j'ai un bateau, j'ai un super appartement avec piscine, je suis connue, j'ai des tas d'amis, que des gens bien. La vie est belle. Et puis un jour, je rencontre la femme de mes rêves. Alors, ça commence comme ça, comme dans les contes de fées. Il vécut heureux et eut beaucoup d'enfants. Oui, mais après, un salaire, 10 bouches à nourrir, les temps sont durs. Et à 40 ans, je n'ai plus de temps ni pour moi, ni pour ma famille. C'est bureau, réunion ou réunion bureau. Qui s'en occupe C'est jamais là 
Tu bosses, toi Et puis, un jour, tout s'écroule. Plus de maisons, plus de femmes, plus d'enfants, plus rien. Rien, si ce n'est un sacré coup de chance. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Et bienvenue dans Qui veut gagner du pognon Le jackpot de ce soir est de 189 millions d'euros. Une trop belle somme pour vous faire patienter plus longtemps. Passons donc tout de suite au tirage des numéros gagnants. Le premier numéro est le 5, suivi du 10, puis le 19, le 23, le 26, le 8 et le numéro 2. J'apprends à l'instant que l'un d'entre vous vient de remporter cette somme. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir et bienvenue dans votre émission qui veut gagner du pognon. Ce soir, nous sommes chez Monsieur qui a gagné cette extraordinaire somme de 189 millions d'euros. Et oui, 189 millions d'euros. Alors, j'embarque pour une nouvelle vie. Mais... La vie réserve toujours des surprises. Parce qu'après tout, même si mes parents étaient riches et que j'avais étudié dans les meilleures universités, même si je brassais des millions dans les plus hauts gratte ciel du monde, tout ça aurait de toute façon mal tourné. Moi, justement, plus tard, je ferai psychiatre pour soigner les fous. Un Tom <rire> Tom, tu es avec nous Alors, qu'est-ce que tu voudrais faire plus tard, toi Ce que je voudrais faire plus tard Ben... Je vais faire les bons choix. We should live today like there's no tomorrow Well, I don't know about you, but Mama always said The time we got down here is borrowed As we all know, time flies, make up your mind, be wise Chasing chances could be a set of lies Don't wait for nobody, live long and be happy And don't mind those who said you go crazy Life is so ra-ta-ta-ta So you should never delay the things you want to do, there you go Remember every day, there is always a way to get you through the ebb of moto No past and no future, how can it be clearer? The present time is only what matters Take everything with love, my mother, one above Smile at everything that you can think of You should live today like there's no tomorrow Well, I don't know about you, but mama always said The time we got down here is borrowed As we all know, time flies, make up your mind, be wise Chasing chances could be a set of lies Don't wait for nobody, be long and be happy And don't mind those who said you go crazy Look, can you see England? Can you see your mummy?
Hello? Oh, hi, Sandra. Oh, yes, it came, it came. No, I'm waiting for her to come home any time now. Inside the barrel? Well, you took a risk. School records, passport. You know she doesn't have one. No, 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 no. This is all too soon, too soon. Yes. Yes. Talk to you soon. Excuse me? Sorry, good evening. Manners made Kiff Man and little girls. Auntie, it's perfect. It's just like the one in the magazine. You're welcome. It came? Mm -hmm. You open it already? <laughs> These must be for you, Auntie Panty. <laughs> Try it on? You have to wash it first. You don't know where it's been. Go put it in the laundry pile. Both of them. Heavenly Father, thank you for getting us through this day. Please continue to extend your protection to our loved ones near and far. And please continue to guide me to train up this child in the way she should grow. So when she grows old, I won't depart from it. In Christ's name, Amen. amen. Good night, Auntie. Good night, dear. So when you leaving? I heard the barrel come. Yeah, but it just hiding clothes and stuff. The ticket must be coming in the mail. You don't say the ticket would be in the barrel. I never said that. You can't put the ticket in the barrel. Someone might steal it. Or maybe you need to stop telling so much lies.
I hear you get a barrel. When last you hear the mother? A while. Well, how long she expect to leave her child here with you? Kira is no trouble, you know. No trouble at all. Yeah, because you raising her right. In fact, if you ask me, she better off stopping right here with you. She's more your child. Santa can just go just so and say, give me back my daughter. That is so hurtful. Those young people go up there and lose the moral. Many schools don't teach them anything. Hey, Anissa. What's up? Um, I'm good. Um, I just called the operator and they said they can get you to my mom. So I wanted to know if you could do me a huge favor. Um, I'd like you to ask your dad if he could please send another email to my mom. I know, but it's really important. Just tell her that. She said the ticket will be in the barrel. And when I check, there's no sign of a ticket. I don't know how you is doing. You getting paid? No. She's yours? No. She even related to you? No. At least the rest was family. Ladies, I have to finish this up. All right, good afternoon. Okay. Ah. Kiran, you finish? Yes, Auntie. Come inside and close my door. Yes, I come in, Auntie. Dear Kira, I spoke to Auntie the day the barrel arrived. The ticket has to be there. Please ask her to call me. What you can do? Who's chasing you? And what's the meaning of you getting home at this kind of time? Excuse you? Look, whatever is eating you, little girl, you go right back outside and come right back in again. Kira Paris. Kira. Auntie, my name all over the school. About how I tell lies. I don't tell lies. I was a brought up like that. Whatever the devil has gotten into you, little girl. You, you need to calm yourself down. Why you lied? I don't think you know who you are talking Where is it? Bedroom in the barrel. Kira, this whole thing is too rush, rush. You're better off here in Barbados. I know, mother. Can't even take care of herself. Furthermore, to I child. need to let my mother know I'm coming. Here's your passport and ticket. You should put it away safely. You know, if you roll them, when you get to England, you can just shake them up and hang them up. Can I have that one? Sure. 
sure. Take that on the plane with you in case it's cold. Dear Auntie, it's starting to get colder here, but I'm getting used to it. Yesterday me and Mommy took a train to Brighton. It was so much fun. Hello? Mommy, good morning. Can you hear me okay? I'm good. How you do? I good to know. How are you doing? My girl, it's so hot. But thank God we get a little rain last night. Oh, okay. That's good. Just calling to make sure everything's okay and ready for my okay trip to New York tomorrow. A 
I got everything in tag, girl. You know me, I just put up everything carefully. They're good. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Okay, mommy, you know how to bar. I'm just saying. All right, girl. If you see a boy, how he grow big, big, he tall. <laughs> I can't wait to see my son. some coconut water when you fill up the mug there for me. Today really hot man. Good times. Come, darling, come take his seat. I'm going to have your favorite when you come home for dinner. Enjoy the call. and so we're putting there today for you, right? Yeah. And eat out all. Watch out for those cars. find them. Malachi, you know that there was a terrible thing for you to do, eh? Why you had to hide those papers, boy? Your mother loves you. She's glad to be with you. And I'm getting down now. I'm getting old every day.
Okay. Not okay? Good to when he wants to talk to you. When I was a little girl, every Friday afternoon, my father used to take me for a walk. We used to go along the sea walls. We used to go in the promenade guys and see all the beautiful flowers. Then we'd go for a stroll into Bel Air. We used to see some big fancy houses. Guyana is a beautiful country too, you know. I love it here. But when you go to America, you will have all the opportunities in the world. And I'd be proud to say I have a grandson living in America. And he's doing well.
¿Qué más? ¿Qué me cuentas? ¿Papi? ¿Estás bien? ¿Seguro? Seguro. Quítate la ropa. ¿Por qué ambas? Bueno, dame el chicle. Ni modo. Ahora sí. Quítate la corbata. No, no. Bueno, ¿no te parezco atractiva o qué? Sí. ¿Ah? Sí. ¿Te parezco atractiva o qué? ¿No lo sabes qué? Voy al baño. Me preparo. Prepárate. Porque ya regreso. eso ¿Qué haces?
She just turned six last week. I don't know why she didn't ever baptize the child. Well, she with God now? Not if she didn't take holy water. Or now she could be running with Dwens. What are you doing here? How many times do I have to tell you not to leave your brother home alone? Look, go on home before your brother burn down the house. But Ma, where's Betty? And why did she cry him? Betty? Look, I'll explain when I come home, right? Go on home before your brother burn down the house. mango from a tree again, I'll call any police. But Miss Maureen, I leave three mango for you. Yes, but you pelled on 23. Then I'm a catch you in my yard again, eh? I don't want your sour mango anyway. One day, Mr. Johnny. One day. Champion Felter. Come play with me now. Nah, it's getting too late. I have to go home now.
and no running in the house, you hear? And Johnny, be nice to your little brother. Stay out of the backyard. Them down, his minds. Let me answer. You're it. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Got ya. Bobby? It's getting late now and we have to go home. Do you want to play with me? No, Bobby. It's getting late and we have to go home now. We want him to stay. If he can't stay and play with us, you have to stay. Choose. Take me instead. <gasps> you pass the test. She only like bad children. Run on fast. And I told you, don't leave Bobby home alone. How many times do I have to tell you that, Johnny? Wait till your father gets home. You abandon your brother whole day. Lord alone know what kind of trouble he could have find himself in. Lord, why you give me such a cross?
Yolanda. ¿Vas a ir, sí o no? ¿Qué yo estoy haciendo esto por mí? Yo estoy haciendo esto por mis hijos y por usted también. Usted quiere pasarse la vida aquí, barriendo, chopeando, ¿eh? Con esta casa llena de muchachos en miseria. Eso es lo que usted quiere. Mire, mamá. Yo estoy harta de estar oseando en la calle. ¿eh? Yo estoy harta.
Más que trajiste el muchachito. Tú sabes muy bien que esto es una locura y que es peligroso. No debiste traerlo. Que no debiste traerlo, coño. Esta vaina es para hombre. Ya yo he viajado tres veces y sé lo peligroso que es esto. Yo sé lo que te digo, oíste. Te dejes tranquila. No la viste tanto. Espérate, espérate. Vamos, todas hacia afuera. Rápido. Vamos, muévanse, muévanse. 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 Vamos. Te queda, tú vienes conmigo. Deja el niño. Vamos, rápido, muévete. Espérate. Muévete. Vamos, muévete. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer contigo? ¿Mm? ¿Qué vamos a hacer contigo? Yo se lo puedo pagar cuando yo llegue. Cuando llegue. Y es fácil. Y es fácil cuando llegue. ¿Mm? Jefe, pero no se ponga así. Nosotros podemos buscarle la vuelta. Uh -huh. La vuelta. Claro, jefe. Hablando la gente se entiende. Espérese, jefe. Espérese, jefe. Vamos a hablar, tranquilo. Usted sabe que yo tengo con qué pagarle, ¿verdad? Usted sabe, vamos a buscarle la vuelta. Espérese, pero usted se manso. Yo no le voy a hacer nada que usted no quiera. Espérese. Espérese. ¿Qué carajo hace? Espérese. Entonces, tranquilo. Thank you. 